Hi guys, welcome back. This is Maths 3000. Today I'm going to show you how to find the missing number in a list of numbers and you are told what the mean is. Okay, so let's have a look at the first example. So we've got the numbers 7 at 10 and we've got one number missing here. And we've got to find the missing number so that the mean of the three numbers is 8. Okay, so the first thing we need to do then is work out what the total of these three numbers are. Okay, and we can find the total of the three numbers by multiplying the mean by how many numbers we've got. So we've got three numbers here. Okay, so to get our total, we do 8 times 3, which is 24. So these three numbers add up to 24. So the next thing we can do then is add up the 7 and the 10, which is 17. Okay, and then we can take that answer off the 24. So 24 take away 17 is 7. Okay, so that is the number which is missing. You can also check this answer to see if it's correct. So you can add the three numbers up, 7, add 10 is 17, add 7 is 24. And if we divide that by 3, that gives an answer of 8. So we know that number there is correct. So let's have a look at the second example then. So we've got to find the missing number so that the mean is 6. So this time our numbers are 4, 7, 1, 8. And again we're missing the number at the end. Okay, so first thing we do then is work out the total of all the five numbers. So we multiply the mean by how many numbers we've got. So we do 6 times 5. five. Yeah, so 6 times 5 is 30. So our five numbers add up to 30. So if we add up the four numbers that we've already got, this gives us... 20. Yeah, and then we just take that off the 30. So 30 take away 20 is 10. So 10 is our missing number. So again, let's just check this to see if it's correct. So if we add the numbers up, 4 add 7 is 11, add 1 is 12, add 8 is 20, add 10 is 30. And if we divide that by 5, that gives a mean of 6. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe. And thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.